Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Made Me Do It. This is another weekly plan with me and my Hobonichi Weeks. I'm starting out the week of March 16th, 2020 by going in with a highlighter brush pen and just uh, coloring in the column of Monday through Friday of the week. And then I'm going in with a gray marker pen and making some lines here with the straight edge of a ruler both the highlighter pen that I used as well as this gray marker uh, were both included in previous months of the stationery selection subscription box. I decided this week to go in and just outline the entire structure of the layout. I haven't been doing that lately because it does take a little extra time, but I do love the way it looks, so I decided to go for it this week. And I added an extra column on the right side of the spread that we'll talk about shortly. So instead of making a note on every single day, Monday through Friday, I just decided to highlight those days and just make one note out in the margin about school being closed this week. Our K through 12 public schools are closed statewide for the next 30 days uh, in response to COVID-19. So after that, I went in with the Hobonichi pen and jotted down the projected weather for the week. Projected low and high temps for each day and then just a little doodle of the weather. Mother Nature couldn't decide what to do on Tuesday, so we're going to get a little bit of everything. Sun, clouds, rain, lightning. <laughs> the works then I went in under each of those boxes and just jotted down my projected meal plan for the week still making a lot of the same staples that I'm used to um, this week but I am making larger quantities when I cook supper at night so my boys will have leftovers that they can use for lunches some days this week since they'll be home from school every day then on the left side of the spread, I'm going in with day-specific um, notes, reminders, tasks, appointments. Making notes of when my outpatient schedule starts. Um, I try to report to work before then, but I definitely don't want to keep a patient waiting. So. I've started making a notation of that each day, Monday through Friday. Have an appointment Friday afternoon. Nothing going on this Saturday. And for church Sunday, we're going to do the same thing we did this past Sunday and stay home and watch the live stream together as a family, our church. Um, puts the message up on a Facebook live stream, which is nice. And we were able to just connect it to a larger TV through the Apple TV, like connect it from my phone. So that worked out really well this past Sunday. And that extra column, I'm tracking, and I hope it doesn't sound morbid, but <laughs> <laughs> Just for my own curiosity, I'm tracking the number of reported cases of COVID-19 in my state and particularly near where I live. So I get that information from a state, um, Louisiana Department of Health state website. I'm sure your state has something similar if you're in the U.S., and then I just went in with a stamp and did some third, fourth, fifth generation stamping just to add a little interest to the background and laying down a couple strips of washi at the bottom of each page. Kind of tried to stick to a muted color palette this week, kind of in the green family, greens, grays, a little bit of blue. So now I'm going back in with that Hobonichi pen. You can see I made kind of a messy mock-up on a piece of scrap paper 
just to see where I wanted to put everything in the spread. So that's what I'm referring to as I jot down this list. I used um, briefer descriptions since that page was more narrow from adding an extra column to the left side of the layout. But uh, I know what each of those things mean, so <laughs> it should be fine. And then I had written social distancing, kind of a buzzword um, for the time being, very important. I uh, almost ran out of room with it, but went ahead and outlined it. And just outlining some headings for this week and to buy. And that is it for this week's plan. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you all have a great week. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.